Someone already has this card, Super Fractor. God bless your soul. Yesterday, we unlocked the 96 Future Stars Jason Dominguez card. We did get 25 wins in the switch hitter event. He's got 95, 91 contact, 96, 90 power with 66 vision, diamond defense. The pitch. And Jason the Dominguez will not be denied! Spend grinders, welcome back. Today, the fourth inning program dropped. We have new legends, Christy Matthewson, Eddie Murray, and that 99 Wander Franco is back in the game as its own official card. How should you approach it? The best plan of attack, I got you. Hit that thumbs up down below if you enjoy these no money spent videos, guys. We also got a new 96 gold glove, Dwight Evans as the set 21 headliner player. And they updated the schedule. Along with the fourth inning program, they also added that headliner pack and July daily moments. I'll break down the daily moments program for July today as well. On the sixth, we're gonna get another headliner pack that's gonna have a second half heroes card as the set 22 feature player and then on the seventh we're gonna get our june monthly awards program so the lightning player and all the diamonds for the player of the month will be coming out on the seventh and then on the ninth we have the moonshot event the ever popular moonshot event we're going from this switch hitter event in polo grounds to the moonshot event Ay, ay, ay. And then, of course, the 12th and the 13th is the Home Run Derby and the All-Star Game, so we'll get content around that as well. The two player programs attached to the new Daily Moments are going to be Nelson Cruz and Whitey Ford. You can get the 93 Whitey Ford and the 93 Nelson Cruz by unlocking the bronze and silvers and then working on those progressions to get the diamonds. Also, yes, I did get the third inning program all the way maxed out 650,000 XP, and I do have that Diamond Live Series pack, and I have all the packs still from the last, like, week and a half that I've been playing no money spent haven't opened them we're gonna do a variety pack opening tomorrow now the fourth inning program as you go through here the henchman pack has John Smoltz Tony Perez and Raleigh fingers in it 89 88 and 88 diamond cards Raleigh fingers 92 hits per nine four pitch mix with the sinker primary 91 break John Smoltz five pitch mix 97 break but only 79 hits per nine PCI is gonna be huge for your opponent with that card and Tony Perez with really good hitting stats righty righty 91 95 96 679 against left not a great defender oh by the way guys did i mention that i just got a big thing of stadium club chromin and i'm gonna be doing another irl pack and play soon be on the lookout for that video. We got some cool 4th of July themed Easton batting gloves that are in the game at 130,000 XP. You got another 42 series pack at 145,000 XP. The 4th inning classics pack is gonna have the switch hitter 91 diamond Tommy Edmond. It's also gonna have the home run derby Jock Peterson with 123, 123 power. I'm very excited to use that card in Battle Royale. And Trevor May, 90 overall reliever, 102 hits per nine, four pitch mix throws Chet. And I love the design on this particular player of the month card because he's got the nickname jersey on from Players Weekend. And then more 4th of July themed equipment as you go through. And at 350,000 experience points, you'll get the fourth inning boss pack that has the 99 Wander Franco in it, 117.94, 105. 84 versus left 106 vision diamond defense 84 speed the 99 limited wander franco is down to 91 nobody has that card as a 99 anymore but this 99 wander franco is in the game for the year now and this is the first time they've ever used a future stars card as an inning boss in mlb the show history christy matthewson a triple crown card the design on this card is nasty and i know that christy matthewson hasn't been very good in years past it's not the sexiest name, but this card, listen, Fernando Valenzuela is pretty gross, especially on Hall of Fame with pinpoint pitching. Screwball is a primary. He does have a sinker. There's a huge gap. The fastball's 95, 96. This card may actually be very good. His windup's just annoying. And then, of course, Eddie Murray, 100, 125 contact, 101, 104 power, 101 vision, diamond defense, 50 speed, can play first base. And it's a light position. You have David Ortiz as a 99, but that's the only other 99 first baseman in the game. And he's a primary left-handed hitter. A lot of people think David Ortiz has a slow swing. Eddie Murray's a free goon option at first base now through this program. And these hitting stats cannot be denied. He's going to be one of the better hitters in the game. The names don't pop off the sheet with this program, with the fourth inning program, but these are actually very good cards, all three of them. And then here's the big thing, man. You're going to go all the way through to the end. Not only do you get a kitchen sink one and two pack you get a 90 plus 
Live Series Diamond if you get to 650,000 XP. That guarantees you a 90 plus diamond. You could get Mike Trout in this pack. Now prices on the marketplace are crazy right now, so this is a good way to combat that and bring those prices back down a bit. Maybe even give a bunch of people Mike Trout for free. Now if you go down here, of course, as usual, you're gonna have an abundance of things you could do, daily missions you can do. All of this stuff needs to be done in online play, and I'll just do it organically over the next few days while I'm grinding. The 4th of July Conquest map will get you 25,000 XP. I'm gonna be doing this live on Twitch tonight. That's right, No Many Scrunch Squad. I'm gonna be live tonight night probably right around the time this video goes up so come hang out on twitch tonight i'm grinding this program out right now i got eight strongholds i gotta knock out for this conquest map come keep me entertained in chat we can do it together and then if you go down to the collections at the bottom if you collect all three of the third inning bosses you'll get a 50,000 xp jump i do not have all three i only have dennis eckersley so i'm not going to be able to do that and then once you get nelson cruz and whitey ford unlocked through the daily moments, you'll be able to lock these two in for 20,000 XP each. So right now, the 4th of July Conquest map and those missions are really all that you can do and then just grind the game, play as much as you can, and you'll work through this. And as usual, they will add stuff to the program that you can grind as the days go on. Now the daily moments, we got the 97 diamond cycle. Pablo Sandoval does not have catcher as a secondary. It is a one day card. And then you also have that Whitey Ford and Nelson Cruz that you need for the fourth inning program. But going into the daily moments, we're gonna slide to the end, or to 25, where we're gonna get to Pablo Sandoval. 116, 113 versus right, 85, 75 versus left, 97 vision, diamond defense at third base for the Panda. And as usual, if you didn't do any of the previous months with daily moments, you're still gonna be able to get the rewind pack and unlock those players that you need to do the player programs. And the first daily moment of this month was to get two hits with Lou Gehrig off Garrett Cole on veteran difficulty. And also just a team affinity update. I'm at 100% on four out of six divisions, 58% on the NLS, 61% on the NL Central. I am ready to go for season three, no money spent. Once I completed collections and I wasn't saving my stubs or saving my duplicates in my inventory, I can started to do the exchanges of the players in each division to finish off whatever I needed to get done per division. And I was able to finish all of season one and I got a few divisions done on season two by just finishing those exchange sets there in the program for Team Affinity. Yesterday, we unlocked the 96 Future Stars Jason Dominguez card. We did get 25 wins in the switch hitter, Ben. He's got 95, 91 contact, 96, 90 power with 66 vision, diamond defense, 92 arm strength, 94 speed. I'm going to lead them off in front of Mike Trout, Chipper Jones, David Ortiz, Jorge Posada, Marcus Simeon, Jordan Groshans, and Byron Buxton. Matter of fact, I'm going to switch Simeon and Posada just to get the lefty righty mix a little bit better throughout this one. Pitching today is going to be the Corbin Burns Player of the Month card from April. All right, we're going to be home. We got to deal with Edward Cabrera. No! That is not good. I'm not looking forward to this game at all now. Oh no. He's 141 and 102. Beatable. Let's lock in. Chop ground ball needs you to make a play, Corb. Good rip. Got him 02. I got that slider below the knee. Backdoor cutter. Oh, I thought I froze him. He hit that ball well. One and two on Tatis. Fly ball to left. I need you to get behind it. Thank you. Trouty, out of boy. Wait, 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 wait. Cut it off. Go to third. Got to go to third. Got to go to third. Did he think there was two outs? Rip! His first swing's a perfect, perfect. Into the gap. It'll be at least a double. I got to keep him in second. He got that in fast. Trout ground ball right side. That'll move the runner to third. Good baseball. Chipper Jones! Deep out to left! It will not carry out, but it will work as a sack fly. We tie the inning, and Jason Dominguez comes around to score. Whew! Not! Yes! Ground ball to first. We got him 0-2, and that was actually a bad pitch, but he chopped it. Good cutter, another strikeout for Corbin Burns, and now he's locked in. Let's get on top. Hip, hip! 
hit high and deep to straight away. Goodbye. Elevate. Three two change up. Couldn't hold up his swing, and that's a strikeout to end the inning. Fly ball to right, one pitch, one out to the pitcher. Huge. Ground ball to third. No nonsense this time. Now Jason Dominguez is going to step in here with one out. Corbin Burns led the inning off with a strikeout. Oh, good slider there. Dominguez down 0-2 here. It's a great pitch. And Jason Dominguez will not be denied! It'll be his second extra base hit of the game! Let's go! I think he might be doing this on purpose. I think he's going to unpause it under 10. Yep, he's doing it on purpose. Why are people like this, man? We just ran into a troll for Jason Dominguez ranked season's debut, but he did get two at-bats, and not only did he get a knock, he got two extra base hits. Let's go, one into each gap. And our rating's now up to 830. We still have like a week and a half to get the World Series. We have plenty of time. The last two times I debuted a brand new player on YouTube, Jason Dominguez and Anthony Rizzo, we are a combined six for six with three home runs, two doubles, and a single with those two cards and those debuts. Ripping the leather off the ball. I'm very excited to continue playing on with this Jason Dominguez and eventually get him paralleled up. Super Fractor Jason Dominguez has 196, 101, 95 hitting stats. That's insane. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more Jason Dominguez highlights and gameplay, hit that thumbs up down below. I'm definitely going to get more gameplay up over the weekend and over this week because we are going to be pushing for World Series before I leave for Colorado. So expect more highlights, more gameplay, more ranked seasons here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you use the code Chelsea at checkout for your SeatGeek purchases. If you're going to a baseball game at all this summer or a sporting event later in the year, you can use my code on whatever sport, SeatGeek.com, code Chelsea, a flat 20 bucks off your order. That's first time use so if you use it everybody's use it next time i'll see you in the next one peace